Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Moina Bass Fishes. I am Jim Moina, professional bass fisherman. In this video, we're going to talk about today's practice, this being the fifth day of practice here for the MLF Toyota Series Tournament on Smith Lake in Alabama. Well, today was, uh, uh, the weather was on my mind today because there was the threat of severe weather today. And I somehow uh, this lake slipped through the cracks because it barely sprinkled. I mean, barely sprinkled. And that's, that's all I saw for, I heard like two rumbles, probably around four o'clock this afternoon. And then when I got back to my camper after pulling the boat out at seven o'clock um, and I got the boat put away and tucked away, then it started sprinkling and that was it. And uh, apparently there was some bad tornado. It was somewhat of a tornado outbreak, I guess, through a few states today. That's, I can't imagine. But anyways, um, back to the fishing. I hope those people uh, can get through it. Uh, back to the fishing. Um, <clears throat> you know, wh whenever you have a weather system moving through, the fish are going to be biting. Okay, they're going to be active. They're going to chase down baits. They're going to run your baits down. They're going to be on. So that's what we had. We had a weather. We had the the weather system approaching it started out cloudy in the morning it was cloudy most of the day and that's just just fish get hot when that weather system's coming now i definitely underperformed based on that because and i don't i, I did not i didn't catch one single three pounder um, caught a fair number of fish, but just not, not the quality, not the size. A guy's going to need like, uh, well, with this front coming through, it may just take like 14 pounds a day to win maybe. But anyhow, um, you know, I got <sighs> early in the day, I had a top water bite and I, it was a good, it was a probably, might have been a three pounder. And and this top water, I, I put it in my hand quite a bit today after that, which was, that which was, which meant I was fishing for today and not fishing for the tournament because in the tournament, they're not going to touch this thing because they're, it's going to be, the water temperature is going to cool down so much that these fish are going to, not even they're not going to touch a top water so anyways with that in mind um i was i was using this top water just because it generated that good bite so then throughout the rest of the day i probably had like seven or eight bites on that thing and a couple follows and some of those were some of them were good like three plus pound fish which is like, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. The thing is, out of all those freaking uh, bites, <laughs> I never touched one of those fish because they either came up and just like kissed the bait and then get hooked or they'd hook, they'd roll on the bait and be hooked for like a half a second and that's it. Or maybe uh, I might reel them in five feet and then they get away. That, it, so I never touched any one of those fish, which uh, <laughs> which is good for, pra for practice. That's what you want, I guess. But that also tells me that that bait, uh, there's, some, there's something about that bait or my technique that the fish were not committing to the bait very good at all. So... And what, what kind of top water? It was basically it was a, a, a minnow bait um, that I fish. Uh, um, I kind of twitch it so it kind of splashes back and forth as I twitch it. And it's almost like a uh, 
spook almost. But anyhow, because uh, that's what I'm trying to do with it is walk and walk it. But anyhow, these fish were just, and these are fish that were up shallow, probably a lot of them were probably males just guarding. And they just were interested in just showing my lure who's boss. He's like, hey, I got my spawning bed right here with some eggs. Just get out of here. I think that's the kind of kind of bite I was getting. Just, hey, get out of here kind of a bite. But some of them are good ones. And uh, some were spotted bass, some were largemouth. <clears throat> and I saw... Like one spotted bass, it was a great big one. That thing, uh, that was funny because I, I threw the bait in there and t twitched it, twitched it by <clears throat> by shoreline. And then I felt like I was away from the shore far enough where I'm not going to get any action. And I just started speed reeling. And all of a sudden I saw a couple shad fly out of the water because they were spooked by my lure, I'm guessing. But then shortly after that, all of a sudden this like, three and a half pound spotted bass comes roaring up behind the bait and then he just turned and let, disappeared into the you know drifted away into the uh, water but so that's uh i don't know that i don't think that's i don't think that bite's even going to be happening in the tournament anyway so that's fine so, oh, sorry. Um, I just, I, you know, I, I don't know why. I just feel like I'm not around the quality spotted bass very much. Or they're just quality. I don't get it. But anyhow, um, yeah, so what else? What else I got to say? Oh, I did find one treasure today. And that treasure being a buzz bait. It's funny. I got my I got my topwater bait stuck on this little bush that's maybe sticks out of the water a foot and a half or so, from what I can remember. And then so I got my topwater. So I go over there, and as I'm unhooking that, I mean literally like eight inches away on the same bush. There's this, there's a buzz bait stuck there. So, so now I got a, now I got a buzz bait and, uh, it was, just, it had no skirt, nothing on it, nothing on it at all. It was just the frame, just the blade and the, and the frame and the hook, you know, with the hook. So I'm thinking that I might have to, uh, catch a fish on that on purpose. But it can't. It won't be in this tournament because I don't see me using a buzz bait in this tournament. So, all right. Well, tomorrow's our last day of practice, and uh, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna have to. I think I have to sit down. I think I have to just dedicate the day to spotted bass tomorrow, and see if I can't come up with. A, a decent, a decent way to catch some good ones. So maybe I, I, I one thing I keep telling myself is I need to put a sp I need to get a, this one spinner bait. <clears throat> There's a three quarter ounce spinner bait that I like to use, and uh, I don't even have it in the boat right now. So I'm thinking I should probably throw that in the boat and see and get that some work tomorrow. Nice thing about it is you can cover some water with it. That's what I like about it. Anyhow, that's it for tonight's video. And we will check in tomorrow. Over.